Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a secure connection for Node.js server, web clients, and ESP32CAM. Actually, it will be a necessary part when you deliver your service to be real. Let's start. I think you guys are watching my ESP32CAM video series continuously. If really so, it's not a problem. If not, I think you need to watch these videos in advance to understand today's one because it only describes the powerful secure connection. In part 0, it's showing how to set up ESP32CAM with the most basic information. Uh, from part 1, uh, I was starting to create a Node.js server to make them have multiple connections in the local network. Uh, part 8 and 9 are showing how to make uh, web clients for supporting multiple cameras. After that, this is today's video. We only talk about simple network security here. We need to set up not only WebSocket security connection but also HTTP plus SSL which is HTTPS. Simply speaking, HTTPS is HTTP with encryption. The only difference between the two protocols is HTTPS uses STRS, Transport Rail Security, to encrypt normal HTTP requests and responses. As a result, HTTPS is far more secure than HTTP. So far, we had made unencrypted connections to connect web clients to the socket server. To make encrypted connections, they must have HTTP connections with SSL certificate. Uh, this is essential for end-to-end -end communication based on secure protocol. Today's work is simpler than you thought. I will create a self-signed certificate using OpenSSL and apply this certificate to the node server so that the web clients can connect to WSS via HTTPS. Also, ESP32 can will use the WSS protocol to connect to the server in a secure way too. We need to prepare the self-signed certificate first. There are two types of the OpenSSL. It's LibreSSL and OpenSSL. Actually, LibreSSL is OpenSSL with a lot of work to improve quality, remove features that are not needed by 90% of users, and so on. Also, my MacBook has a LibreSSL as a built-in OpenSSL. So I'm going to use this. Uh, it's OK to make a certificate with OpenSSL. Also, you can download the OpenSSL through the homebrew like I did. Let's create a self-signed certificate with OpenSSL. The screen shows the parameters and file names required to create a certificate using OpenSSL. Please refer to it. After running, there are questions for the certificate. Uh, it's a self-signed certificate, so it's not very important. Please fill out with your information. The certificate and the private key are created successfully. It's a server.cert and server.key. All required files on the server are ready. Let's apply this to your node server. A file system is required to bring two keys created in the project folder. Add the first. Uh, also add the HTTPS to create a HTTPS server. Uh, read the files in the private key and the certificate and put them in each variable. Oh, I don't know why this is here, but a crypto was added because the certificate was incorrectly selected during to autocomplete. Uh, this is not necessary. We will use HTTPS official port 443. The port of the WebSocket Secure is also 443. When you create HTTPS server, you should include your certificates. It's very simple. Uh, WebSocket servers are built on HTTPS, so register the HTTPS server on it. Uh, the app used to listen to the specific port, but now it changed to the HTTPS server to listen to port 443. The server side is finished, it's simple, right? Uh, the rest of the part is to modify the client side uh, WebSocket address. Until now, we have always connected using a specific address and specific port. However, the server and the web clients are in the same location, so you know the server address with the address you are connected to. 
Also, secure connections are made with port 443, uh, so the specific port num is not needed anymore. That's it. I'm gonna change the name of the title because it's connected in a secure. And I'm changing the background color finally. You don't need to do this. Let's run the server, open the web browser, and enter the local server address. Instead of having a port num, let's put the HTTPS for the protocol. Uh, Micron says uh, your connection is not private. Uh, do you know why I get this warning screen? Uh, that's because I'm using the self-signed certificate. Uh, with self-signed certificates, uh, there is a no outside authority to verify the origin server is who it claims to be. Uh, browsers don't consider self-signed certificates uh, trustworthy and may still mark sites with one as not secure despite the HTTPS URL. Uh, therefore, one idea is to update your certificate when your project is open to the public. The self-signed certificate helps when you don't have your own domain or you are in development. If you ignore the warning and proceed, you will be connected to the server immediately. The error you see on the inspector is uh, there is a no Bobicon. Uh, you can ignore it. Our server is ready. And it's time to set up for ES32 cam. In fact, if the WebSocket server is ready, there is a very little to do here. Uh, call the IP address of the local server to the WSS protocol. The default port num for WSS is 433, so it's not entered separately. Go to the WebSocket connection function, remove the port num and path. Honestly, that's it. We are all set. Uh, this source code is for the first camera, so it replaces the camera information tab with number one. Done. Uh, I'm gonna compile this source code and upload it to my ESP32 cam. After the ESP32 cam was connected to the Wi-Fi, it was also connected to the WebSocket server. The image is being shown to the web client without any problems. Let's check out in other browsers. First, Firefox. Other browsers also get a warning because of the self-signed certificate. Let's skip it. Next is the Microsoft Edge browser. Uh, this is also a clear warning of the certificate. Anyway, we have checked uh, all the browsers work properly. Uh, this is all I have today. When I first started the ESP32 Cam project, there were a few people who asked me about a secure connection. I hope this one will be an answer to that. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.